Let's talk about Ariel's character from the classic Little Mermaid. I'll explore her backstory and her personality, so let's go to the video. She is the baby of the family, the youngest of King Triton's seven daughters. She lives deep under the sea in the magical underwater kingdom of Atlantica with her big royal family. Ariel has a wonderful life, swimming and playing with her dad the king, her mom Queen Athena and her six older sisters. But one day, a terrible thing happens. While the family is out enjoying the ocean, a big ship from the human world crashes into Queen Athena. She's swept away by the waves and sadly, she doesn't make it. Ariel's family is devastated by the loss of their beloved queen and mother. King Triton is heartbroken over the death of his wife. He gets very strict and overprotective, especially with Ariel, who is curious about the world above the waves. The king bans all music in Atlantica because it reminds him too much of Athena. He doesn't want his daughters getting into any more trouble or danger. Ariel grows up having to follow her dad's new rules, with their mean old governess Marina Del Rey watching her every move. Ariel is a fun energetic mermaid who loves to go on exciting adventures and discover new things. She's a princess, but she doesn't let that stop her from exploring the deep dark parts of the ocean that most mermaids are too scared to go near. Her curious nature often gets her into tricky situations both for herself and her friends, but even though she can be a little stubborn, she's also really kind and caring. She always tries to help others and fix any problems she causes. Ariel has a good heart and a smart way of thinking that helps her get out of sticky situations. When she makes mistakes, she owns up to them and does her best to make things right again. Her zest for life and desire to learn about the world beyond the ocean often leads her into uncharted waters, both literally and figuratively. She's not afraid to take risks and push boundaries, even if it means going against her father's wishes. She is absolutely fascinated by the human world. Unlike her father, who sees humans as dangerous and uncivilized, Ariel thinks they're amazing. She's in awe of all the things humans can create and do. She spends most of her time exploring the ocean floor, searching for and collecting any human objects that have sunk into the sea. Her passion for the human world is so strong that it's become an emotional fixation for her. In the song Part of Your World, you can really feel Ariel's sense of wonder and enchantment, but also her growing despair and hopelessness. She desperately wants to be a part of the human world, but knows it's impossible for her as a mermaid. This longing drives Ariel to make a risky deal with the sea witch Ursula to become human and experience life on land. Even though Ariel and her dad don't see eye to eye when it comes to humans, she still loves and respects him deeply as her father. When Ursula curses Triton, Ariel immediately jumps into action to try and save him, calling Ursula a monster for what she's done. She may be headstrong and adventurous, but she's also fiercely loyal to her family. Ariel's burning curiosity about the human world has been a lifelong passion, not just a fleeting interest. She's driven by a deep, almost desperate need to be a part of that world, even if it means making a dangerous bargain. Ariel is a kind and caring person who loves almost everyone she meets. She's not just romantic about it, she's loving and compassionate towards all living things, even those she doesn't know well. This is shown in her special friendships with her best friend Flounder and her dad's musician friend Sebastian. She is very close to Flounder and she's always there for him. Ariel is comforting and patient, and she'll do anything to help him feel better. She's also protective of Flounder and will risk her own life to keep him safe. She's like a big sister to him, always looking out for him. Even though Sebastian is a bit of a grumpy old man, Ariel loves him too. She respects him for his music and his wisdom, and she's always trying to make him happy. Sebastian is often against Ariel's wild and adventurous ways, but she still loves him and treats him with kindness. Her compassion and love for others make her a wonderful friend and a great person to be around. She's always there to lend a helping fin, and she's always looking out for those she cares about. Ariel has a real knack for making friends with all kinds of creatures, even the ones that most merpeople are scared of. She's got a big heart and she's always willing to give someone a chance, no matter who they are. For example, 
she befriended an abandoned killer whale, which is pretty crazy since killer whales are usually feared by other sea creatures, but Ariel saw past that and gave the whale a chance, and they ended up becoming good pals. She's also friends with Scuttle, the goofy seagull, even though he can be a bit scatterbrained and annoying sometimes. Ariel just has a lot of patience and understanding for her friends. Before she met Prince Eric, she wasn't really interested in romance at all. Her dad tried to set her up with some merman princes, but Ariel wasn't having it. The only guy she ever had a crush on was Prince Waverly from the Pacifica Kingdom, but other than that, Ariel was more focused on exploring the ocean and making new friends than worrying about finding a boyfriend, but once she met Prince Eric, something changed. She became a real romantic at heart, and she was willing to take some big risks and make big sacrifices for the sake of their love. And it turns out Eric felt the same way about her. He showed how selfless and brave he could be to try and save Ariel when it really counted. Like her father, Ariel has a bit of a temper if she gets pushed too far, but her temper isn't quite as quick to flare up as his. Ariel is a spirited and passionate person, but even she has had moments where she's doubted herself. At one point, she even started to wonder if her dad might have been right about humans being bad just based on some of the human objects she'd found, but deep down, Ariel has a good heart and she tries to see the best in things. She had a hard time believing that everything about the human world could be bad, no matter what anyone else said. As Ariel grew up and became an adult, she really matured into a sophisticated and respected woman. She fully embraced her responsibilities as a princess and a mother to her daughter Melody. She had gotten used to living as a human after her dad used his magic to let her stay that way. But then, when the evil sea witch Morgana threatened Melody at her christening, Ariel went into full-on overprotective mom mode. She got so worried about keeping Melody safe that Ariel cut off all ties to Atlantica and the ocean. Even though Ariel was happy with her new life as a human wife and mother, she really missed her dad and sisters, but she hid those feelings from Melody, thinking it was the best way to protect her. Eventually, she realized that shutting out the ocean world completely was doing more harm than good. She had to find a way to balance her human life with her mermaid roots, for Melody's sake and her own. Even though Ariel had cut herself off from the ocean world, there were still little moments where she hinted to Melody about her mermaid past. Honey, everyone has trouble fitting in at your age. I know I did. I was a regular fish out of water. You? No way. Despite a few little flaws here and there, Ariel is mostly just a really sweet, caring, and inspiring person. <laughs>